Fellow Nigerians, I beg if you come across this video, I beg no allow Daddy Gio see this video, no share this video. Go where Daddy Gio day. This man you guys are seeing is picture on this background. Mm. Don't finally react to one viral video of Daddy Gio. Where Daddy Gio they talk about waiting they go for inside this country. This man you guys are seeing in this video. Don't react to that video. Make una hear waiting. This man they tell Daddy Gio and make una also share this video. But my two hands no day. Make una watch the video and I'll come back to react to this video. Nigeria, we heal the. Recently, one of our babas came up. He said that the problem of Nigeria is spiritual. That the leaders are trying their best. You know, with all this, their false humility. Nigerians are trying their, the Nigerian leaders are trying their best. And the uh, that the problems are spiritual. I was now asking, is this man looking for a contract to solve the spiritual problems of Nigeria? Is he looking for a contract to solve the spiritual problems of Nigeria? Because when you say the problems of Nigeria is spiritual, it's like when they bring people to hospital in those days, maybe they have schizophrenia, they have stroke or one thing. They say, Oyibo medicine, no, they treat this one. That is, you can't use English medicine to treat it. The next thing you do is that the, the relatives of the patient will start asking for the native doctor that can treat the case. So I was asking myself, is Baba looking for is Baba looking for <laughs> spiritual contract? But I was not in the mood to say anything because uh, all these are. There are Mumu followers who come and attack me. When I called some Mumu last time, they came to meet me. That why did I say they were Mumu? You be Mumu, Mumu. So uh, <laughs> then I was wondering if this man is saying that uh, Baba, you are saying that the problems of Nigeria are spiritual. Okay, so your church does not have problems. You had problems in the church recently, so you couldn't. You have not finished solving the spiritual problems in your church. You had disasters, series of disasters in the last few years. So we should come together and pray. Maybe you want to declare a national prayer. I know your techniques. I know you, I've been in this business with you people. I'm an ordained clergyman. I've been in this business with you people for years. I know your systems. Baba, if the problems of Nigeria are spiritual and the people have tried during good luck Jonathan's time, so good luck Jonathan did not try. Eh? How much was bag of rice then? How much was a liter of fuel then? How many people were being killed by bandits? How many Yoruba churches did they attack? How many traditional rulers were killed that time? Kidnapped. How many, many, how many medical students were kidnapped? How many doctors were kidnapped? Good luck, Jonathan did not try. Eh? When I whipped one of their so called generals, one of his boys came out that uh, uh, they are guarding that they are God's generals. So, so who's general? I told them that I hate duplicity. I hate deceiving people in the name of religion. You're fr fr I will be going to speak in a state. The state governor will be there. All the political contestants will be there. I will say the truth. Who won't die? Make it die. What thing will happen? Make it happen. I will. <coughs> they never know what will happen. So you you protested against good luck, Jonathan. Suddenly your mouth became boom. And I remembered one video that I made that he who has yam in his mouth or food in his mouth cannot whistle. You can't whistle if you are eating. Nigerian problem is a spiritual problem. When people were protesting for hunger, 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 you, out of your craft and duplicity, I've always suspected you. 
out of your craft and duplicity, you organize a million man match. Large crowd. Because you are afraid of speaking the truth. If you said the truth, they will come after you. That's why. And I was wondering. Now the mighty wind has blown and Tolo Tolo Yash don't open. Your Peking, your child, went and did contract in Kaduna State. While El Rufai was busy antagonizing Christians, supporting Fulani headsmen, Fulani bandits, that whosoever kills a bandit or does anything against a bandit that he owes the Fulani tribe a, a, a debt that must be paid, whether military or whatever. You were sneaking and frolicking with him. And your son got a contract. How much to tie? Is it 8 kilometers or 18 kilometers? Even if it is 18 kilometers for uh, is it 15 billion or 18 billion? That means about 1 billion per kilometer. Okay, we have started using the streets of gold. This is in the north, not swamp in the Niger Delta. In the north where you have rocks, you have strong soil. 18 kilometers. How many bridges did you build? And then your son failed to deliver after collecting half of the contract sum did only 30% and absconded. Normal reasoning people will know that he sold that contract. He sold it. Used your influence to get the contract and sold it. A reasonable human being would have known that I am doing this contract in a Muslim community, in a place where Islam is dominant. Let me set an example that I'm the son of a pastor and do a very good road. Because you play God, you determine those who will make heaven and you drink tea with God. Your son drinks tea with government too. He had the impunity to abandon the job. Our money! You will collect our tithes, collect first, first fruit, and collect contracts. Are you never going to be satisfied? All the billionaires in your church, will you never be satisfied? All the luxuries your sons enjoy. Some of them, one of them, very rude. You took, your son took a contract. If 8 billion, maybe he paid uh, is it 80 million or 800 million as tight to you. And then he abandoned the contract. Because if he doesn't pay tight, he will go to hell, so he has to pay. He abandoned the contract. And when the law came up, he ran to court. Does he have common sense? Does he have self-respect? Every any person will have gone to the House of Assembly to defend why he had not finished the contract after they had reviewed. Tell them that I will complete the contract. But I know, I suspect he sold it to somebody who said nothing can happen. Because you, you people control this country. You control our spirits. You control our souls, you control our brains, you control our money, you control our pol politicians. And you'll be pretending as if you are very humble, you talk as if you cannot kill a fly. Talk as if you cannot kill a fly. Your son ran to court. Most probably, your members are in charge of that judicial premises. Got an injunction restraining EFCC, Inspector General of Police, Deputy Inspector General of Police, uh, <laughs> House Kaduna State House of Assembly, 
and all that. Can you imagine the disgrace you have brought to the body of Christ? Instead of repenting, it's like Ananias taking Peter to court. It's like Satan suing God. It's embarrassing. And that's how most of you are. Very, very deceptive. You talk from this corner of the mouth and this corner of the mouth. I said in the beginning of this year that the mighty wind will blow and Tolo Tolo Yash will open and that we will face reality. Many of you don't care about this nation. You have houses overseas. You have permanent residences for your children. One, one, one jobless fellow said that my son is married to a white woman because uh, of visa and I attacked general overseas. My son went there as, an, as a professional, as an expatriate in that business, in that place. Went there as an expatriate. You sit here and be defending those who, who ruin your economy. It's tragic. And there are many of them they run around politicians. That is in Kaduna State. How many contrasts will he have had in a Lagos State that he will not he might not have done? Is it not possible he had in Oyo, Ondo, Ogun, Oshun, Kwara, and all over the place? And then all these small, small pastors that don't know anything, they will be fasting like because you told them to fast. They will be shaking their head like concrete mixer. They will be falling down and standing up as if they have grand mal epilepsy. Thank you for watching that video. So guys, before you leave, look at the top here. You will see where the road subscribe. Just subscribe to this great platform and also put on Sean Bear so that Whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, and also on YouTube, so that everyone out there will see this video. So guys, see you guys some other time.